SOLIDWORKS simulation allows you to quickly simulate design changes and in this video we're going to take a look at two different ways to accomplish that. So the first thing we'll want to do is make sure we have our SOLIDWORKS simulation add-in loaded up. Then we'll be able to go to our simulation tab, create a new study, and we're just going to create a static study here. You can see this splits our feature tree into two, so we have a simulation section down on the bottom here where the parts material has automatically populated down. And then I can go in and apply any fixtures or restraints on the model and the loading. So as a restraint, I'm going to choose a fixed hinge and apply that to these bores here where a bolt might go. And then I'll apply a force as my external load downward to the face that will be loaded. That's all we need to do to be able to run this analysis. So I can just click run and SOLIDWORKS is going to automatically mesh and then solve this model for me. And we'll be presented with a stress plot. I'm just going to scale this down to 100 megapascals so I can see any number above that in red. That's the number I want to try to stay below for this design. We can also very quickly get a peak value call out there and also overlay our mesh if we want to take a look at that mesh that was automatically generated. There are many tools for manipulating the mesh and refining it in SOLIDWORKS, but we're not going to worry about that in this video. Here we can see our peak stress is occurring in this pocketed out area. So when I'm ready to go make a design change, I'll just click back to the model tab in SOLIDWORKS and then I can access any of the model dimensions. Here I'm just adjusting the pocket so it's a little more spaced off the edge. And I'll also go in and make that fillet on the bottom a little bit of a larger radius. I'll rebuild the model and then I can click back over to my simulation. We'll see that it gets some warnings that the simulation is out of date. So we can just go ahead and rerun this and we'll get our updated simulation results on this new updated state of the model. We can see here a pretty great reduction in terms of the stress. So these are the types of design changes that you'll be able to make by having the simulation associated to your SOLIDWORKS model. If you want to store multiple variations of the design so that you can compare them side by side, this is something we can do with SOLIDWORKS configurations. So let's take a look at how to set that up. So I've got on the screen here is the model and simulation in exactly the state it was before we made that design change just a few moments ago. And to take a look at how we could set up configurations for this, I'm going to go back to my model tab and activate the configuration tab in SOLIDWORKS. So here I'm just going to add a new configuration. And then I can access any of the dimensions of the model and change those, except this time I'm going to make sure I change them only for this configuration. That'll make sure we can access both states of the geometry. So I'll just continue making these changes and then we'll rebuild the model and go back to the simulation. Now in terms of my simulation, if I activate my old simulation, it'll be grayed out because it's referencing the previous configuration. So all I'll do is right click and copy it over to my new one. So I'll call this a revised simulation and tell it to use my revised configuration. And now I have a new setup that I can run. And we'll have both full sets of results stored, and we'll also be able to compare both of those sets of results side by side. So if I run the compare results tool, then I can choose to compare stress from each study and get the side by side display. In this video, we covered two methods for rapidly simulating design iterations in SOLIDWORKS using SOLIDWORKS simulation, which are the ability to make changes on the fly and tab back over to your simulation and rerun, or the ability to use configurations to represent different states of the model, allowing you to perform design comparisons in your simulations. For some additional resources, you may be interested in a third method that's available called the Trend Tracker, as well as our optimization tools like our design studies and topology optimization. 
You can find additional videos for these linked in the video description below. Or feel free to contact us if you'd like more information.